Covering news where you live. This is 5 News at 6. We begin tonight with the city of Greenwood marking 55 years since a deadly tornado tore through the town. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 6. I'm Darren Bob. In just four minutes, that tornado destroyed homes and businesses. It killed 13 people, left hundreds injured. 5 News reporter Jose Carranza spoke with the mayor of Greenwood who was who remembers surviving that storm back in 1968. 55 years after a tornado came through Greenwood, Mayor Doug Kinslow and the community continue to remember that devastating day, which left 13 dead, hundreds injured, and many homes and businesses destroyed. As everything was moving, you know, the pe people were picking up their kids or getting ready to, it's, it's a miracle that we didn't have more uh, cash or fatalities in that. Kinslow only lived a few blocks from a school here on Daisy Street. The then 10 year old was walking home from school through the storm here on Gary Street whenever someone stopped him and asked him to get in their car. The wind was blowing so hard, I actually, there was a, a lot of shrubbery there and it was the old, the holly bush with the real sticky holly bushes and, and so I ran over to grab one of those just to kind of get, you know, stable. Didn't feel a thing. I'm sure I was petrified or terrified. So I grabbed that bush. The wind actually brought me up off my feet. Kinsel says he didn't know the extent of the damage. There were no cell phones back then or even sirens. But his father, who owned a barber shop downtown, walked through all the destruction. After a second cup of coffee saved his life. His barber shop was gone, totally gone, a pile of rubble. Uh, the cafe he was in had broken windows, but the structure was still there. Here my dad is walking home knowing his business is gone and not knowing if his family's still alive. And he's pausing just enough, not long, but he would pause if he came upon somebody and to check on them. And, and while the community rebuilt and many came to help. They came together and everybody did a great job and just built Greenwood back and bigger and stronger. and and stronger for it. People say that those four minutes in April of 1968 forever changed the community. We built our house back, very same footprint. The foundation was there, but everything else was pretty much gone, but there was a lot of scattered brick. So my job and my, my sibling's job was to, as much as we could, would be to clean those brick, to reuse those brick. The thunderstorm comes up and I mean, I was, uh, I didn't know that I would be scared like that, but I was pretty, pretty terrified. And, and I was quickly looking for a, a way to get to a house that we were living in after the tornado. We recently, in fact, it, we had, <laughs> it was kind of nervous. We had a hard time getting in our new, our new sirens in here this last month. And there's so many people in town, as you mentioned, that are still here uh, that have their own individual stories. And there's probably a lot that haven't been told. We all have our own stories about the Greenwood tornado. In Greenwood, covering news where you live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Two big additions they didn't have in place in 1968. Mayor says those tornado sirens are now up and running, and each school in town has a tornado shelter.